Sneakerheads everywhere were seriously disappointed after Nike announced it was making only 89 pairs of the Nike Mags, the company's self-lacing shoes, inspired by the movie Back to the Future. Well, soon you'll be able to get your very own pair. On December 1st, Nike's hyper-adapt self-lacing sneakers are hitting stores for $720. CNET editor Brian Tong joins us now. Brian happens to have first-hand knowledge of the shoes because he got to try them on. All right, so Brian, explain, how do they work? So what makes these shoes really unique or special is the technology inside them. What it has is there's a sensor in the heel and basically when you put your foot down in the shoe and it feels the weight, there's a lacing, basically this engine, and there's these um, Nike's own material called Flywire which goes over the laces and this motor basically winds them up based on feeling your weight and then snugs to your foot um, all without you lifting a single finger. How long did that take, Brian? Um, it, it probably takes about two seconds. I mean, it's wow. one of those things where when you first try it, you've never experienced it before. You're like, this is kind of crazy. <laughs> right. It has this motor sound. I mean, it's it's cool. It's like a shoe that's a toy, but actually has some function to it. Yeah. What is the backstory to these shoes, Brian? So like you kind of mentioned, the original Air Ma Nike Ma mags were from Back to the Future 2. Um, you know, Michael J. Fox put those on. And Nike had made a promise that those shoes would come to us by 2015. Well, it's 2016 now, so they're a year later, but they were able to recreate that mechanism and put it in a shoe. At least that's a little more consumer friendly. I mean, $720 is a lot. <laughs> it is but, a lot. Uh, people, there are sneaker heads and also people that just want to try something new. Again, the price is not the most friendly, but this is the first self-lacing shoe available for consumers that we have ever seen, and so that makes it really special.